welcome to Big Cypress. My name is Erin and I'm a park ranger here at Big Cypress National Preserve. And Big Cypress National Preserve is 729,000 acres, which I like to say is large and in charge. So the Big Cypress has been set aside to protect our plants and our animals. And our water, Erin, don't forget our water. And you've just met Ranger Eleanor, who is obsessed with water. And so Big Cypress National Preserve protects our watershed. And you might be thinking, what's a watershed? Is it a place where you put your tools and your bikes? It's not that at all. What a watershed is, is a large body of land that holds water. So that 729,000 acres that makes up Big Cypress is large enough to hold a lot of water. And what kind of water does it hold, right? I can look down right now and I can actually see the color of my boots. And there's even tiny little fish swimming by. So we know that this water is clear and that there's life in it, but we even can be more specific. There are some easy tests we can do that can tell us about the health or the water quality. And one of those tests we can do is for dissolved oxygen. Very cool. Yeah. There's just some easy things we can do to walk right through it. So Aaron, if you can take this plastic vial and fill it to 25 milliliters. All right. And then we've got this ampule that has a chemical reactor in it. Just put that in point down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to break that tip against the side of the glass. So don't be afraid to break it. Don't be afraid to break it. Okay. Go ahead. You can do it. You'll start to see it turn blue. Let it get a little bit of water in there. And then we're gonna spend the next two minutes, I know, turning it up and down so that bubble that's forming there at the top travels all the way to the top. And then all the way to the bottom. This is actually kind of fun. I like it. Two minutes though can feel like a long time. I bet it can. <laughs> <laughs> so keep turning, keep flipping. The rest of us, just do a little dance. Sing a little song. Think about how much you love the swamp. All right, now that our two minutes is up, we're gonna take that ampule and we're gonna compare it up here with all these other colors. So it's a little bit darker than three and four and five and six. Mm, what do you think, eight? I'd say maybe about an eight. All right. It's looking pretty close to eight. All right, and why do we care about dissolved oxygen? Why do we want to know? Well, it can tell us a lot about what aquatic organisms, not just fish, but also invertebrates like crayfish and snails, can live in the water. Wherever you are, I'd like you to do me a really big favor. Take a nice big breath in. You just took an oxygen through your lungs, but do fish have lungs? No, they have gills, and they need to get their oxygen from what's dissolved in the water around them. And how much dissolved oxygen tells us a lot about what can live there. Typically, anything less than three parts per million won't support a lot of aquatic life. Generally, anything above six, eight, ten, twelve, heading on up that way, can support a wide variety of species. Now that tells us about dissolved oxygen, but there's another test we can do out here that'll also give us results along a measurable spectrum, and that, my friends, is pH. Whoa. And so what we have here is our pH test kit. And inside of this test kit, there's this funny word called a dipstick. <laughs> it's funny, but it does its job. I and guess. basically what a test strip looks like is, if I hand that over to you, okay. is this little white end. At the end of that white end, there's this yellow tip. And what you have to do is take this yellow tip and dip it in the water as fast as you can, give it a good shake, and compare it as quickly as possible to the top of the chart. The first color that your eye see is the pH that we're measuring. So this one, we don't need to worry about two minutes. No two minutes on this one, thank goodness. So Eleanor, I like to play a game. When I dip this in the water, I'm gonna pull it out, give it a shake, and stick it up here. You're gonna tell me what number you think it matches up to. Think hard on this. Six. Six. pH of six. Let's see if Eleanor is right. Ready? Yes. A good shake and compare it as quick as we can and that first number to my eyes is six Eleanor was right for the want, first time <laughs> no all the time <laughs> but do you want to know why I thought it was six why do you think right. it was six 
So pH, of course, is measured on a spectrum from 0 to 14. Right in the middle, you've got 7. That's considered pure water. Anything closer to 0 is acidic. Anything closer to 14, those tend to be more basic, more alkaline, things that feel sort of soapy. Like bleach? Yeah, exactly like gotcha. bleach. And we've got pop or soda pop, whatever you want to call it, on the other end. Okay? But even rainwater is slightly, slightly acidic. So if 7 is pure water, but even rainwater is slightly acidic, right. a pH of 6 bodes really well for this water here in Big Cypress. Okay. And again, that's why Big Cypress was set aside, to keep this water clean on its journey down to the Gulf of Mexico. And here at Big Cypress, we have preserved hydrologists who do tests like this on a daily basis to see what the dissolved oxygen is, to see what the pH is in a lot of our different ecosystems. And we look forward to seeing you here in Big Cypress National Preserve, where you can experience the water for yourself.